But Schnoodle hadn't had enough yet. He said, There's something else we need now. A new bathroom. And then we can have lots of fun in the bath. And a workshop, so that I can cut up lots of wood with my wood saw. In that case, I would like a honeypot room. So that I can store mm, all my oats and my lovely honeypot there, said the Schnoodle Pony. And then, said Schnoodle Boodle, we'll need a balcony room with lots of space for a rabbit hutch. And a big holiday house. And a tall lookout tower. And so they built all of these too. A bathroom house. A workshop house. Leisure Time Garden Penthouse? Uh, uh, a Cloud Living Room House? And, um, and, and a Helicopter Garage? Then Schnoodle seemed to run out of ideas. So the Schnoodle Pony went to fetch the wood, the paint, and the nails. Tie the ladder tightly to the rope! so that I will be able to climb up higher, Snoodle Pony, said Snoodle. Snoodle painted the Royal Chamber House gold and the Canary Birdsong House yellow. The Leisure Time Garden Penthouse he painted red. How many rooms are you going to build then? That seems pretty good to me. But Schnoodle still hadn't had enough. And now we're going to build a... a viewing... a room for evening television viewing. A stargazing observatory room, a castle in the air room, and a lavatory. But that was too much. What would he have built next? Well, who can tell? Because the whole lot tumbled down together. straight away and cried, What is it, Tiger? Are you ill? Oh yes, I am so very ill that I can hardly move at all. Oh, don't you worry about it, Tiger. I shall make you well, said the little bear. Where does it actually, um, 
hurt you most, Tiger? Hmm? Here, said the little tiger, showing him one of his paws. And then here on the other paw. My legs hurt too, and I ache above and below and right and left and up and down. What? You mean everywhere? Well, then I'm going to have to carry you, tiger. And so he carried him home. I think you'll have to bandage me, cried the little tiger. Yes, 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 of course, tiger, I understand, yes, said the little bear. First this paw, said the little tiger. And the little bear bandaged that paw first, and then the other one. So, um, where else, exactly? Oh, my poor back, said the little tiger. But when you bandage a person's back, you also bandage their chest. So the little bear wound his bandage round the little tiger's back and chest. And as the bandage wasn't quite used up, he used it to bandage up the tiger from top to toe. But not my head, said the little tiger. Because I may need to cough a bit. And when the little tiger was all bandaged up, he began to feel a little better. But then he began to feel a little worse again, as he was hungry. Oh! I shall cook you something tasty, hmm? said the little bear. Tell me what your favourite meal is, tiger. I like spring trout with almond kernels, small potatoes and seeded bread rolls. Oh, oh, we haven't got any, tiger, said the little bear. Can you choose something else? Egg noodles with almond kernels and seeded bread rolls, said the little tiger. Haven't got those either. Can't you choose something else, tiger? Seeded bread rolls, said the little tiger. But they didn't have those either. Um, why don't you say vegetable soup? Yes, some soup. That's what I really wanted to say. So the little bear cooked him a really wonderful stew with potatoes and carrots from the garden. And when the little tiger had eaten, he felt a little better once more. But then he felt a little worse again. Because he wanted to have a comfortable sleep on the nice new sofa with the big soft cushion, said the little tiger. Oh, will you cover me up with a leopard blanket? The little tiger lay down on that comfortable sofa with the big soft cushion. And the little bear covered him up with the leopard blanket. And the little tiger slept for a while. And when he woke up, he felt a little better once again. But then he felt a little worse again, because he thought he'd like... Visitor! Just then, the hare turned up. Oh, the little tiger is ill, is he? What's wrong with him, then? I just don't know, said the little tiger. No, we don't really know, said the little bear. Well, he really must be examined, then, mustn't he? By Dr. Browsefrutch, said the hare. Mm-hmm. At the hospital for animals, said the hare. Yes, at the special hospital for animals, tiger. Tomorrow, asked the little tiger. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow, said the little bear. And then the tiger felt a little better again, because the hospital for animals was very good. At night, the little bear slept with the little tiger, so that he should feel better.
Next morning, the little tiger felt a little better again. So the bandage was removed. But then he felt a little worse again, because he wanted to go to the hospital for animals. Soon, the strong wolf and the strong goat arrived, bearing a stretcher, because if someone is ill, they need to be carried on a stretcher. Please be careful, said the little bear. Make sure you carry him very carefully, and make sure he doesn't fall off. He's my best friend. And the leopard blanket went with him. They hadn't gone far when they met the wise old grey elephant. Uh, where are you off to, you folks? He asked. Hospital for animals, said the little bear. The tiger is very ill and we're going to make him better. Oh, then I shall come along with you. I may be useful to you, said the wise old grey elephant. Then they met the yellow duck, and the hare, a mouse, the lion with the blue trousers, the dog, the hedgehog, and the travelling donkey with the rucksack. And they all went together. You will make sure you don't drop the tiger, won't you, chaps? Said the little bear. He's ill, you know. They carried him carefully, oh so carefully, to the hospital for animals. said Sister Lucy. Sister Lucy was a kind old duck. Room number five was already occupied by the fox. How do you lot come to be here, chaps? The tiger is ill. Mm. Uh, but he's going to get better. Ill? <laughs> I'm ill too. Broken paw. I fought with a lion. And guess what? <laughs> I won. It was all lies. He tried to steal some hens, but he jammed his paw in the door. At the hospital, said Sister Lucy, everyone receives a clean new nightshirt. It was tried on and fitted perfectly. And then the little tiger was examined. Ah, now breathe deeply said Dr. Browserfrosh. <gasps> breathed the little tiger. And deeper. Uh -huh. <gasps> jolly good, jolly good, said Dr. Browserfrosh, and he examined the tiger front and back. And then the examination was over. Next examination, an X-ray. What is an... An X-ray, huh? Asked the little bear. Ah, light screening, said Dr. Browserfrosh, who was also the X-ray technician. Uh, um, uh, what is uh, light screening? Um, light screening is um, when the little tiger goes into the box here, ah, and is lit up from behind the screen. Quack, the light will be shone right through him, and I shall be in front. And I shall be able to see right through him to see what's wrong. Aha! A stripe's out of place, Quack. cried Dr. Brazafrosh. And now we know what was wrong with the little tiger. A stripe out of place. Mm, not too serious said Dr. Browserfrosh. 
small operation, Tiger healed. What is a small op op operation? A small operation is a bark when the little tiger is given an injection to make him well. He will go fast asleep and have a wonderful blue dream. Wakes up, operation over, tiger healed. But first, the fox had to be treated. Ah, you shouldn't use a syringe on animals, said the fox anxiously. Because they need to have very strong nerves, huh? It pricks. Oh, 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 oh. Pricks, said the little bear. Ha, <laughs> pricks? <laughs> Nothing pricks us, Mr. Fox. A tiger is a tiger, and a bear is a bear. Small injection. Blue dream. Operation over. Everything straightforward. Paw recovered. Then it was the little tiger's turn. An injection to make him feel better. Blue dream. Operation over. Everything straightforward. Tiger recovered. Tomorrow, said Dr. Browserfrosh, you'll be able to go home, dear Tiger. A good, complete recovery, Tiger. Right? The next day, they all came to fetch the little tiger. feeling homesick. Uh, exactly about 800 yards or so uh, through the air, said the wise old grey elephant. And, and now you can just wish for your favourite meal and I'll cook it for you. Fresh spring trout with almond kernels and seeded rolls. Oh, no. And another choice. Egg noodles with almond kernels and seeded rolls. Hmm. And, and another one. Why don't you say vegetable soup? Oh, yes. That's what I wanted, said the little tiger. And that was what they ate. Stew with little lumps of butter, parsley, and carrots from the garden. Ah, but, uh, but next year, said the little bear, it'll be my turn to be ill, huh? And you will make me well, right? Quite right, said the little tiger. Absolutely right. Thank <laughs> you.